the Big West Conference begin. How you doing, everybody? Welcome to the Stan Sheriff Center, the Hawaiian Tell MCU starting lineup scrolling at the bottom of your screen. It is Hawaii, ranked 11th in the country, 10 and 1 on the year, playing host to UC Santa Barbara at 4 and 7. For the Rainbow Wahine, after winning at least a share of the conference title in 19 straight years, they were relegated to a runner-up position last year, Long Beach State winning the Big West Conference, and that was the first time that Hawaii did not win at least a share since 1994. So here they go, embarking on another conference crown, and UCSB goes outside to Chanel Hoffman, who gets blocked back. Now, one of the left-handed players, one of several left-handers, in fact, for the Gauchos, Jalen Villanueva, gets her access denied, and Hawaii gets the point. Villanueva had a great match here in 2013. Remember how excited she was? She was so excited, but it is her highlight sports moment of her life. I would say about a handful of the UCSB players called that memorable upset over Hawaii in this building in 2013. Their favorite athletic thrill as Taylor Higgins sends it long. So we start off one serving one. And UCSB, Chris, you talked about it in the pregame. They have gone through some major adversity when it comes to physical health this season. Well, they really have. They had four people out starting with, starting with camp and uh, really made it difficult for them to get any kind of rhythm. Even though they won four of their first five, they then slipped and lost their next six in a row. Injuries uh, to knees, to back, uh, stomach, you know, all kinds of things going on. But they're gradually getting more healthy. Well, Phoebe Grunt making it difficult on Taiman Oliva on that last sequence. And then the service ace put in by Hannah Nielsen. One of two setters in this 6-2 attack for UC Santa Barbara, and it is three serving one. Here's Nikki Taylor. That one gets dug up back towards the net, and in the middle, Grunt is dug up by Higgins. Here's Mano Leval, gets a full swing on it. Two-handed in the air by Barbeau. Hoffman two hands it over, and Taylor there to clean it up. Now the middle set to McGill, dug up over the net. Taylor will take a free swing, and finally put a close to that lengthy sequence. The Rainbow Wahine are finding out early and often how good a defensive team this Santa Barbara team is. They just take all kinds of stuff. They got a really interesting libero from Italy who uh, played Division One there as a 16-year-old, so she can really play with the best. There she is right there, passing that last ball up. Villanueva just sort of slaps it over, diving save, Savannah Kahakai. Now Taylor. Barbo able to get a good piece of that one. And it'll be free balled over for Hawaii. Pass a little off the mark. So Higgins goes high and away to Greeley over the double block. Dug up by Petraki. Now Villanueva finds the deep corner. Nice finesse lefty shot by the 5'9 senior from Los Alamitos, California. Jalen finding out that she was number two kill leader last year in total kills. She just goes, she knows she's got a big block there, 6'4 and 6'3, so she goes high and over the block and lands on the back line. Great shot. Here's Chanel Hoffman. She's fought some injury here in the early goings of this season. Not quite 100%, but good to go the full length of whatever head coach Nicole Lantane Welsh envisions for her. And another play in the middle by Phoebe Grunt, this time on the offensive side of things. She's averaging 1.29 kills per set and is fifth in the Big West Conference in blocks per set. Five serving two, Gauchos coming out and making an early statement here. Can Hawaii respond? Diving save Hoffman on the McGill swing. And a free ball coming for Hawaii. Higgins goes right side to Taylor, and she blasts one down. That was a detonation by Nikki Taylor. Nikki Taylor had a lot behind that swing. Ball was set perfectly by Taylor Higgins, a little tight for Nikki. She saves herself from going under the net. Meantime, it just lands easily on the other side. No dig there. Kahakai with the serve, left side, here's Barbeau, hits it wide of the court, was there a touch? No, and Hawaii back to within a point four, serving five. Barbeau, one of their key go-to players, two-time All-Big West pick, co-MVP of the most recent preseason tournament back at Yale. Yeah, the leader on the team with 2.9 kills per set, she fields the Kahakai serve. Here's Villanueva from the opposite side, dug up off the block by Higgins. So Kahakai sets up Taylor. How about that play by Petraki to keep the sequence alive? Barbo slaps it over. Higgins the initial save. The back bump set by Taylor 
with a Manaole Val from the back row and a great scramble play to get it back across by the Gauchos. Maglio in the middle is blocked. Kahakai there, the bump sent to Greeley. Took something off, but it works. Oh, that was vintage Hawaii Santa Barbara right there, Chris. Great patience on both sides, great defense on both sides. Hawaii had the upper hand most of that rally, but it took sort of an off-speed shot, not necessarily a big kill, not with a lot of velocity. The off-speed shot won the rally. Five serving five, Barbo again. On the Kahakai serve, here's Villanueva on the opposite side. Good high hands by that Hawaii block. Now Taylor, the big wind up, and she unleashes through the block and down. 4 0 run here for the Rainbow Wahine, and they surge in front. When in doubt, Nikki Taylor finds a split block there. She's used to seeing two blockers waiting for her that time. One and a half blockers. Already the third kill in this opening set for Taylor. Ensuing serve goes wide, and we're not it again. Well, UCSB coming out in this opening set, Chris, and staking claim to the fact that they are here in Honolulu to play some volleyball. And Hawaii able to respond, hence the tie. Villanueva serves it into the twine, and Nikki Taylor will now serve for Hawaii up one. You gotta remember, six of these players played in that 2013 match. So I think there's a constant reminder in the locker room or in the hotel room or whatever that uh, Hawaii can be beat the Stan, Stan Sheriff Center. Nikki Taylor, wow, that was maybe a touch of all. Sends it way out of here. She's the conference leader in aces per set. With 21 total aces coming into this match, but even she had to let out a bit of a sarcastic smile after that one. with the serve for the Gauchos. Bump set goes to Greeley. Diving save in the back row by Hoffman. Hoffman will take a swing from beyond the line. Right there's Manuele Vau. Higgins jump set on the D set to Taylor. And a one-hand diving save by Hasselman. And this feisty, scrappy Gaucho squad returns another one. Maglio, though, with no blockers up. And Maglio pounds it down. She had that career-high performance last time out against Bakersfield of 12 kills. She continues the onslaught there. What was the difference in Hawaii's transition from a month ago? A month ago, they were taking free balls and passing them over the net. Now they're passing the ball a little bit off the net and managing to run some pretty good plays, and Maglio is one of the beneficiaries of those plays, to be sure. Here's Barbeau, big swing, blocked back by Maglio. And it'll be a lift call against Hasselman. Six-foot freshman setter from San Diego, so point goes to Hawaii. But you're right about those free ball first touches by Hawaii. That has allowed them to exploit the middle in such a greater way here over the last couple of weeks. Much better offense, much better transition offense. There's Greeley with the float serve. Pass Hoffman, step out, that goes to Britton Taylor. Good save by Nikki Taylor. Mano Levao, high hands there. Chance now for the Gauchos, it's Barbeau, two-handed in the air by Mano Levao. Greeley will take a swing from the back row, and we play on. Step out to Taylor, off the block, diving save, Greeley. Higgins, high and away to Mano Levao. Dug up by Petraki, wow. Barbo by the double block and down to the Terraflex. Well, if it's going to be that kind of match, we better get comfortable. Yeah. How about Petraki, young lady from Modena, Italy, just a freshman, just got to America a couple of months ago, has taken one summer school class, got an A-plus in it. Step out, that's Maglio. Nicely run there. She has been able to reintroduce, if you will, the slide to this offense. Yeah, she and Annie Mitchell both have running a lot in practice. Both look very good this week in practice. And I think their connections with Taylor Higgins are getting better and better because that's a real timing set. And Marie Anderson on with the serve. And a mishandle again on the set. Again, it's Hasselman. And Hawaii getting the freebie, 11 serving eight. Now we go back to talking about Emilia Petraki, the freshman libero from Italy for UCSB. I didn't realize you actually speak Italian as like a second language. Uh, a little bit, yeah. I lived there for six months when I was in college, so. She and I could uh, probably converse for maybe oh, a minute or two, and that'd be it. 
Chanel Hoffman, that was with some authority that she earns the side and point for UCSB. But yeah, in fact, head coach Nicole Lantane Welsh even told us that she thought Amelia's last name was pronounced Petrachi. And you immediately made the look like, no, nah, I'm pretty sure it's Petrachi, which it was. <laughs> Olivia McGill able to find the floor, and Hawaii gets it back. The Hawaii's offense is continuing right where they left off at Bakersfield last week, where 48% of the sets on, on Sunday against Bakersfield were going to the middles. Tonight, no different. A lot of feeding to the middle early on. Here's Hoffman from the right side, off of the shoulder of Kahakai. But a little hesitation between Higgins and Greeley for that third touch, and they're unable to return it. Chanel Hoffman's been their kill leader the last three matches. Coming on strong. She's the all-time kill leader in high school in Riverside County. That was an all-Big West Conference honorable mention last year. Led UCSB with seven double-doubles. Here's Nikki Taylor. She's put in a few double-doubles this year. And maybe putting together the early effort to lead to another as she finds the point for Hawaii. Four kills already, no errors, eight tries. Now Livao, knuckleball serve, causing some problems. And it's an ace. Ever since time when Olivao sort of put to bed her jump serve and brought out this deep floater, it's made a big difference. Her percentage of serving going in has increased and her aces have increased. Looked like an old Charlie Huff knuckle right there. Hawaii in transition. Here's McGill rising high. Good dig by Nielsen. Bump set goes to Hoffman. Through the block right there is Kahakai. So Higgins back set to Taylor. Too tight to the net. That's going to be a point for the Gaucho. And Taylor Higgins knew as soon as she let go of it that uh, she had a little bit too much adrenaline to catch in that volleyball. That just fired low and hard to the net. Hoffman again, lining herself with the service line. 11 serving, 14. Sends a deep corner, popped straight up in the air by Kahakai. Greeley chases down the second touch. Push over by McGill. And it'll result in a free chance for Hawaii. Can they take advantage? Greeley, big swing. Hard angle and in. Beautifully done by Kalei Greeley. Hawaii gets to 15 first, and we have a timeout on the floor. The Rainbow Wahine answering the call early. They lead by four. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the Kaiser Permanente keys to the match, Chris. Well, for Santa Barbara, the go-to gal is Ali Barbo. There she is right there, number 11. Average about three kills per set, two-time all Big West. And she's got to have a big night for Santa Barbara to win. For Hawaii, spread the wealth. they got to keep diversifying their offense, so it's more than just Nikki Taylor. So far, four Hawaii players in the kill column. Nikki, though, leading the way with four. With a pitter-patter back and forth. UCSB will send a free ball Hawaii's way. Higgins picks and chooses, goes high and away to Greeley, pounds it off the high hands. Barbeau the save. Bump set goes to Alley, pushes it by the double block and down. Again, pulling the string. And that has been something that has caught Hawaii an inordinate amount of times here throughout 11 now plus matches. Yeah, but I think each time they've gotten better and better. So I think the team is feeling like they can cover those tips better than they used to. Let's put it that way. Taylor against the double block. Forget the tip stuff. That was a hammer drop by Nikki Taylor, kill number five. Nikki Taylor shows that she just doesn't have that cross-court shot. She's got that line shot pretty wired as she goes over and down. A pretty good block, 6-1 Barbeau. Sixth in the NCAA in kills per set. Second nationally in points per set. And she forces a bad pass. And Emily Maglio is the beneficiary. Beautiful middle set from Higgins. And Maglio again demolishes it. Perfect 31 set to Emily Maglio. Enough to force Santa Barbara to call a timeout. Hawaii by a handful. We'll be back. Series record sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. Lopsided, certainly, to the advantage of Hawaii. 34-8 last meeting, November 21st, 2014, and it was a thriller in Santa Barbara. Hawaii winning in five. 
Nikki Taylor out of the timeout. A beautiful serve, a great pass by Petraki. Now Hawaii with it. Here's Taylor on the D set. Once again, Nikki Taylor, almost unconscious the way she's playing right now. She's in such a zone. Smooth, reaches high, nice timing, great set by Taylor Higgins. 18, serving 12. And then Taylor nearly serves up an ace. Great save by Barbeau back to the Gaucho side. Now Maglio in the middle block. She punches it up. Higgins will go outside to Greeley from off the net. And Greeley curls it in. We've seen quite the wide array of shots from Calais Greeley in this opening set, Chris. Yeah, she's really making great shot selection. She's, she pulls the trigger and hits an off-speed shot when she has to. Hits that angle shot earlier, a wrist-away shot that was inside the three-meter line. Taylor, 19, serving 12, putting a little run together here. Step out, that goes to Britton Taylor. Good diving save, Kahakai. Puck set to Mano Leval, soft touches it over. Chance now for the Gauchos. They go back to Taylor, and that one misses way wide. No touch up front. Hawaii now up in eight spot here in the first, and that prompts another timeout call by UCSB head coach Nicole Lantane Welch. Well, Nikki Taylor at the service line, giving Hawaii a little spark at a very important juncture of this opening stanza. I was a little nervous after she served that first one almost into the far tunnel. And it was uh, a touch of all kind of a serve. She's now come back with four brilliant serves. You know, the tough top spinners, the drop in the front of, in front of the, uh, the back row. Serving almost every area of the court, looking very efficient, almost making up for that one she missed. <laughs> yeah, she's been pretty money here in the time since. Now, if you are Nicole Lantane Welsh, aside from some of the strategy that might be being communicated, what are you telling your team right now? Get a ladder. <laughs> Simple as that. Get a ladder. Get a stool. Get something to block Nikki Taylor. Of course, that's nobody else has been able to do it. Much easier said than done, that's for sure. Well, you know what most teams have done is that they've sometimes put only one blocker up and give Nikki her back row attacks with one blocker. Give the other two blockers to another hitter like Taimon Olivao or, or the middle attackers and put a really good libero down the line. That's what UCLA did. Put a really good libero down the line and have them pop it up. Taylor Formico had a field day that night. She played against Hawaii uh, when they beat them, gave Hawaii their only loss. That's how they played Nikki Taylor. Hawaii hitting 343 as a team, just one hitting error compared to 115 as a percentage for UCSB. How about the digs? Santa Barbara with 19 digs so far. Petraki has got seven on her own. But they normally only average 14 a set. They've got 19 already, and the set's not even over. Nikki Taylor out of the timeout, tickles the tape. The pass by Petraki. Britton Taylor touches it over. Hawaii in transition. Here is Nikki. Little ping pong battle at the net, and punched over by Kahaka. Chance for the Gauchos. They go quick middle set to Grunt. That's dug up by Taylor. Here's Greeley on the outside, hit the pin. And a point for UC Santa Barbara. That ends a 5-0 run for Hawaii. Really Hawaii's second hitting error of the night, so they've shown she's got to be happy with that kind of efficiency. Six kills for Nikki Taylor on 11 swings, zero errors. She's hitting 545 here in the early goings. And Annie Hasselman on to serve. Really from off the net. Still a good little swing on it. Saved by Petraki, and it'll be a mishandle on the set. That is about the third time we have seen that call made against the Gauchos in this opening stanza, and Hawaii again getting a free point. Any Hasselman getting called at that time. She's a highly recruited player out of La Jolla Country Day, also recruited by Cal and Princeton. Here we get Kendra Kilsch in for Hawaii. Should we say it? The closer? And it's, I think it's closing time. Britton Taylor blasted through the block, saved by Nikki Taylor. Bump set by Kelsch to Mano Leval. Right there is Pataki. Outside, here's Barbeau. Took something off. Mano Leval the save. Kelsch, D set to Taylor. Deep corner. And it's dug up tight to the net. So Barbeau will play it from off the net. Two-handed in the air by Kahaka. Bump set to Greeley. Quick wind up. And again, there to save it in the back row is Hasselman. So the pump set goes to Barbeau. Great save, Manuel Leval. 
Nikki Taylor free balls it over. And we play on. Here's Barpool another time. Blocked back. She saves it herself. And finally the roof ends the deal. Emily Maglio shuts the door on Britton Taylor. Pretty good defensive volleyball being played there. Good patience by both sides. What about Emily Maglio? Sort of a recent eruption in her game. She has really stepped up, no question. Oh, missed time on the middle set. And right now, Annie Hasselman, one of the two setters in the 6-2 system for UCSB, having some struggles, frankly, here in this first set. It's now a 10-point lead for the Rainbow Wahine. You mentioned La Jolla Country Day. She graduated high school as the career assist leader in CIF section history. Sets up Taylor, diving save Kahakai. Kelsch gets her back, and Kahakai will send a free ball over the net. Quick middle set, and that's dug up by Kahakai. Taylor bump sets too tight to the net, but Manoli Bow solo style swat. I'm not sure, but I think that was the King Kong block. They call it the King Kong block because it gets swatted away with one hand. <laughs> And it is now an 11-point lead for Hawaii and Aloha Ball as Kalei Greeley serves for set one. And forces an overpass. Kelsch picks and chooses, goes middle to Maglio. That's saved by Hasselman. So on the right side, Barbo, the knuckle shot is blocked. Put over on the second touch by Sheffield. Now Taylor from the D position, that's dug up. Left side, here's Britton Taylor over the block. Two-handed in the air by Kahakai. Great scramble plays on both sides of the net. Gauchos go right side. Barbo! Block! And roof! And set one is in the books. Hawaii closes the opening set on a 5-0 run. And they take it by a dozen. 25-13. Hawaii strikes first in this Big West Conference opener against UC Santa Barbara. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order King, is sponsored by Straub. Let's check out how it works, presented by Central Pacific Bank, Chris. Well, this is how it works when a middle attacker is going to go all the way to the pin and hit the step out move. It's called the wide step out. They're going all the way to the antenna. And Emily Maglio does just that, that great set by Taylor Higgins. It's really a timing play as Taylor Higgins throws it out behind her head and just hopes that, that uh, Emily Maglio can run it down, basically. But it's a feature of the offense that I really like that Hawaii's implementing more and more. Like I said in the keys to the game, I thought that Hawaii's got to spread the wealth. Well, that's part of the wealth that needs to be spread around. Maglio with three kills. Kalei Greeley with three kills in that first set. Nikki Taylor leading the way with six kills. Hawaii has a team hitting 256. And how about UCSB, Chris? Flatlining it in that first set. Zero, zero, zero. Six kills, six errors. Not a good number. The top two hitters, in fact, Ali Barbo hit negative 077. And Britton Taylor, second on the team in kills per set, negative 222. You know, the score is 25-13, but it sure felt a lot closer than that, didn't it? Look, look at the digs total. 25 for the Gauchos versus 26 for Hawaii. Yeah, they were playing some defense out there, certainly in that first set. Chanel Hoffman playing some offense to start set number two. And she had a long discussion with the coaching staff next to Ali Barbo between the two sets. And so there was some sorting out, perhaps, that was going on there. And a good start, certainly, for the Gauchos, courtesy Hoffman. She will serve. Really with the pass. Higgins, that one a little too tall for McGill. Free chance now for the Gauchos. High and away, it goes to Barbo. Soft touch. Catches Hawaii napping. Once again, solid start by the Gauchos here in the second set, just as they did in set number one. Playing very efficiently, keeping the ball in play, forcing Hawaii into that wide defense and then tipping it short. Yeah, UCSB getting out to a 5-2 advantage early in the first set. Here's McGill trying to 
help Hawaii fight back with a great diving save, Petraki. Hawaii with it again. Mano Oliveau blocked, punched up in the air by McGill. Taylor on the second touch, swings it down for kill number seven. Well, what a weapon Nikki Taylor is, and she's just so large at the net, takes good swings, really is making very few errors. Playing with a certain fire in her belly this season. There's no doubt about it. Here's Villain away by the high hands. Save Higgins. So Kahakai sends it right side to Taylor. That one's dug up by Villain away. Barbo from the outside he sends it long. Was there a touch? Nothing doing. Point for the Rainbow Wahine. And we start over at two apiece. Big block for Hawaii up front. 6 4 Taylor, 6 3 McGill, and 6 2. Greeley. Good serve by Mano Olivao. And the pass off target, and that's a free point for Hawaii as UCSB was unable to formulate an attempt. Watch your head, big two. Mano Olivao. Kilo girl out of Punahou with the serve. Good diving pass, Petraki. Barbo from off the net finds that deep corner. And that one had a pop to it. What a swing by Barbo. Co MVP of the 14 team with Ali Spit. Spit had to medically retire in June. That was a huge blow to this team. We're counting on her, former All Big West player, to play. And instead, she's medically retired. Olivia McGill elevating for her second kill of the match. Gill leading the Big West Conference in kill percentage entered tonight, hitting 389. The Hawkeye to serve, pass Hoffman. It'll be a quick touch in the middle to Grunt. And she's able to pound it down. Nice cutback by Phoebe Grunt out of Alameda and St. Joseph Notre Dame High School. All Big West honorable mention in 2013. All Big West freshman team in 2013. Majoring in, get this, chemical engineering. Go try that, Mr. Lady. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Here's Taylor from the opposite position for Hawaii. She's got the red hot hand right now for the Rainbow Wahina. Eight kills on 16 swings, zero errors for Nikki. I wonder if she's the number two most productive player in the country in points per set. Over six points per set, she averages. That's adding up. Kills, aces, and blocks. Step out goes to Britton Taylor, and she's blocked, and Ruth stuffed by Maglio and Greeley. Well, this block for Hawaii, the great equalizer. Well, it ought to be. It's the largest team Hawaii's ever fielded. I mean, you look at the Big West Conference, huge individual blocking numbers, and Hawaii is in the top three slots. It is McGill, Taylor, and Maglio in that order to lead the league. It's, it's, uh, it's something that Dave Shoji has always had the luxury of, by the way. Greeley. Oh, what a dig by Petraki. Now Hoffman from the back row over a triple block. There is Kahakai. The setup to Greeley into the antenna. And the Gauchos trying to rev the engine a little bit. Let out a big celebration following that point. They're within one. And it'll be Ali Barbeau retreating way behind the line to serve. She's standing right in front of the Gov. Oh, a little trouble on the two-handed reception. Greeley will two-hand it over three ball style. Gauchos go outside. That's Lindsay Ruddins dug up. Here's Greeley off the block and out. Savannah Kahakai once again in the right spot, puts up a nice dig, and then Greeley bouncing it off the block for the kill. Seven serving five. Here's Greeley with the floater. Pass Barbeau. Right side, the swing by Ruddins. And Lindsay Ruddins, a freshman standing at 6'2 from Laguna Niguel, California. She is one that Nicole Lantane Welsh has very high hopes for. Oh, one of the most highly recruited players in the country, the number 15 
senior in the country. And there's thousands of seniors, by the way, that play pretty good volleyball. And she was ranked number 15, but she's been injured and only gets limited playing time. Maglio had that one blocked, kept alive by the Gauchos. Hoffman put some heat on it, but right there was Kahakai. And a mishandle on the set by Taylor Higgins. First time tonight she's been caught. Yeah, What's the double hit? Once Bill Forrester called the first double contact on uh, Annie Hasselman, who's Kahakai's dig, and Taylor Higgins just tries to do a little bit too much with it there and makes some double contact. Once Forrester made that first call, now that's the standard for the night. Juan Olivao. Maybe setting a new standard for elevation. She got way up on that swing. And Hawaii back up in front. I watched her practice yesterday. She really looked sharp. Jumping better than I've seen her. Play with lots of enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah. Ordering everybody around like a good captain should. Taking charge, being a great leader. Here's Villanueva. Off the fingertips, there's Higgins. I should say on the swing. Higgins sets up Taylor, and that's dug up by Barbeau, who gets the set from the back row, blocked. Raditz had it around in return. Higgins picks and chooses, goes middle to McGill. Diving save, Barbeau, and UCSB can't get it back over. Olivia McGill just has an uncanny way of finding the floor when she attacks, either with a tip shot, or a hard-driven ball to her left or her right across her body. Amazing athlete. There's Hoffman. Diving save, Claire Marie Anderson. That was pretty athletic right there. And then Taylor hits it long, but there was a touch. And it's a point for Hawaii. And Nicole Mantain Welsh disagrees vehemently. Let's see if we can take a look and see what's going on here. It's hard to tell from that angle, but I believe Bill Forshaw, the top referee, called it as did a lines person. Ten serving seven. Ninth kill for Nikki Taylor. Here's Villanueva, blasts it deep. And that one just missed that deep corner. So Hawaii up four, and this is about the same area of the first set where Hawaii started to create some separation and pull away, and they're threatening to do so here again in the second. Devin Joes coming in, 5'11", freshman from Menlo Park, California. Bell. Nicknamed Devo. Played two years uh, at St. Francis High School for Leahi Hall, who's right. now coaching at uh, King K. Kalike in Maui. You know that is, don't you? Yeah, I've, I've heard of it. <laughs> There's Sheffield in the middle. Good dig by Hawaii. McGill is blocked by Sheffield. Manoole Val with the swing. And she pumps it down. 5-0 run for Hawaii. And that's enough for Nicole Lantane Welsh to signal for a timeout. The Rainbow Wahine starting to pull away. Time to check out the first Hawaiian Bank top three. Hawaii single match kills. And the number one mark put in by the great T. Williams back in 1989 against Yes, UC Santa Barbara. In fact, that was in California. Kim Willoughby, yeah, she was pretty good too, right? Getting over 40, multitude of times. 43 to play second and 41. In third place. Returning to live action out of the timeout. Hawaii leading by five and dealing with a free ball here. Higgins goes high and away to Manole Vow up the ladder. Blasted off the forearms and out. Tied Manole Vow with her Third kill, nice set from Higgins that time. She held the middle really well because Higgins driving hard in the middle, drawing a lot of attention there. 6-0 run now for Hawaii. Hoffman in the middle, big swing. Anderson had the first touch, but nobody else able to keep that sequence alive. So Chanel Hoffman showing some of the pop in that arm. She had a career high 16 digs here in this building last October. So she can play the variety out there on the floor. Here's McGill. Soft touch. Good save there by Joes. Hoffman from the right side. There was Kahakai. Now McGill in the middle. Oh, she was able to let it loose a little bit. McGill brings some heat. You know, she is an intense competitor. No surprise, but she gets the right set. She is going to unload. 
with ferocity. Sometimes when the set's too low, she'll still be able to find success with the more of a touch shot, but yeah, when she has a chance to rip it, that can happen. Here's Manole Val. She'll try to rip it. Goes high hands. And it's a point for Hawaii, and they lead by seven. Ty's feeling right now. One step approach there. Just went up and hammered deep, high hands, deep court, area six. Good spot for an off the net kind of a play. High toss by Taylor Higgins. Good serve. Barbeau sends it tight to the net. Touched over by Grunt, and that was sort of an impromptu one-handed set in the middle, and Grunt was able to still find the floor. Last year in 2014, number one blocker for this team, but no more for her defense than her offense. Looked pretty good offensively there, though, picking the right spot. Off into serve, into the net it goes. So 16 serving nine. It'll be Tom Manoleval retreating back. Conference opener for both teams in the Big West. Backtracking. Bumped up by Petraki. Bumps that goes to Barbeau. Touches it over the double block. It'll be a net violation. Called Barbeau. against Hawaii. Nikki Taylor got a little aggressive there. She was a near free ball. And Taylor, as she turned, got a little cable with her forearm. And the 30 year conference history for the Rainbow Wahine volleyball program. They've lost the league opener just once. And that was in 1991 against Long Beach State. That'll make Dave Shoji pretty happy thinking about the success rate in that particular category as Shauna Klein enters the match to serve. Senior for the Gauchos. Fielded by Kahakai, middle set McGill. The dink is sniffed out. So Barbeau will get the swing on the outside. Dug up by Manuele Val. Back set goes to Taylor. And that is kill number 10 for Nikki Taylor. Nikki Taylor just continues to rack up the numbers. Natural leading numbers. Yeah, she is having some season. Ascending, perhaps, to the upper pantheon of Rainbow Wahine greats. As that middle swing by Grunt results in a point. Grunt gets up quickly, avoids the Magnil block right there. Nice shot by Phoebe Wait. Grunt. Here first, we're here, so you're here first. Now Annie Hasselman with the left-handed serve. Really comes swooping in. Diving save by Petraki. A little miscommunication there. Barbo will get a good swing on it, though, and put it down. Didn't look that promising on the second touch, but Barbo still able to get the winner. Good scramble by the Gauchos that time. It seems like Barbo is almost more comfortable hitting from the 10-foot line than she is on the net. Last two kills have been from about the 11-foot line. Manolivao with the first touch. Outside, it goes to Greeley. Dug up by Hoffman. Put over on the second touch and saved one-handed style by Maglio. Taylor's swing is dug up by Hoffman. But the blockade was up on the half-hearted effort by Lindsay Rodinwitz. Emily Maglio getting the gist of that one again. As Dave Shoji makes a change, Kendra Kelch comes into the match replacing Taylor. Nikki Taylor will serve. Barbo with the pass. Outside it goes to Ruddins. Hits it out. Was there a touch? No touch. But a lot of palms pointed upward on the UCSB side. They thought that there was a touch. What a swing. Ruddins has got the arm. You can tell she's going to be a good one when she gets more playing time. Timeout UCSB. Welcome back to the Jack Pack tonight, the Big West preseason poll, Hawaii preseason pick to once again claim the conference crown, defending Big West champ Long Beach State in the two spot with one first place vote. UC Santa Barbara preseason pick to finish third. And how about Cal Poly? They'll be here tomorrow night.
they're off to a pretty impressive opening to this 2015 season as we return to live action. And Eddie Hassel once again called for the mishandle on the set. And you're right, Bill Forrester, the high official, he has decided to place that bar at a very hard, high mark when it comes to that ruling. Exactly. And I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's okay. I, I don't mind it when they, when they call it that tight. Little set to Sheffield block back. Now on the outside, it's Ruddins off the touch. There is Kahakai. So Kelsch sets up Greeley. Diving one hand save Pataki. And Barbo will two hand it over. Free chance here for Hawaii. Kelsch outside the Greeley. The block was not there, and she takes advantage. Hawaii once again gets better and better in transition every weekend. Kelsch there has got Helen's middle blocker there. They thought Maglio was going to get the set. She sets it out to um, Greeley, who gets a split block. That's what offenses are designed to do in transition. Ruddins. Stonewalled by Maglio and Kelsch. A couple of sophomores there showing the freshman, hey, welcome to Division I and the Big West. And Hawaii this year putting the big in Big West, averaging six feet tall for the first time in program history as Gianna Guinasso enters into the match to replace Nikki Taylor to serve. Hawaii by 10. There's Barbo, the soft touch. Maglio got a fingertip on it and then saved it. Mano Neval on the pipe. Can I tell you her legs were lively? And she brought the arm to boot. Wow, what a shot. And how about Maglio gets the touch, then able to make the save, which allows the set on the pipe to Mano Leval, who finishes in style. Step out. That's Sheffield. Oh, able to catch that end line. Now that Sheffield got her, I think it's her first kill. You gotta tell the Sheffield story. Unbelievable. Played club volleyball yeah. the last two years at Santa Barbara and got recruited because Santa Barbara was having so injury, injury problems. problems. Yeah. Well, she had injury problems in high school, was recruited to play, but because of a major knee injury as Higgins touches it down. So she spent two years healing yeah. and not playing Division I, just playing club volleyball. Gauchos, by the way, their club volleyball team ranking in the top 10 the last two years with Sheffield able to uh, contribute there. And it should also be stated, Elizabeth Sheffield celebrated her 20th birthday on Tuesday. So happy birthday to her. It's Aloha Ball for Hawaii and McKenna Granado, the freshman out of Punahou with the serve. Here in set two. Good touch again by Maglio, again with the save. Manuel Eval blocked and roofed. That time it was Sheffield and Runnins. A couple of the newcomers Solid teaming up. Gaucho block that time. Nicole Lantine Welsh making some changes in the lineup. But it will be Emilia Pitaki. UCSB's first international player in nearly 15 years with the serve. Step out, Maglio! Down the line and in! And for the second straight set, Hawaii ends up winning by double digits. And when they come back, they'll have a chance to open up the broom closet in the conference opener. the Fujitsu air conditioning cool play of the match. This came from very early on in the first set. It was uh, time on Ole Balkers. Well, she goes up to the net and goes up the ball. It's actually bumped over, and it's attacked by, I think it was Barbo. And there's a one-handed block. They call it the King Kong block on the beach. And uh, it was, I'd say that was very cool. It was definitely the coolest yeah. play of the night. That was pretty darn cool. Yeah, talk to the hand, says Ty. All right, let's take a look at the McDonald's match statistics. And as you would imagine, pretty lopsided in favor of Hawaii. The dig numbers, though, just unbelievable. A lot of defense going on out there. These two teams average about 14 digs per set. 
Uh, so they would normally have 28 digs for two sets. How about 41 and 36 digs? That's phenomenal. And the two liberos playing so well. Um, they've got 14 and 13 digs apiece. Uh, Emilia Pachocki has 14 digs, and Savannah Kahakai with 13 digs. Amazing. So Hawaii with a chance to pull out the brooms and maybe pull off the sweep here on opening night in the Big West Conference, and that will help that get them started as Olivia McGill teams up with Taylor Higgins on the denial. More domination at the net. Hawaii now eight kill, eight blocks to Santa Barbara. So the Gauchos, two blocks. Right hand on ball, Nick. Here's Higgins to serve. Sends it down the line and deals an ace out of the deck. Remember the, the days of Dave Jones, we had five blocks all night long. <laughs> and he just had these little people running around the back row digging a zillion balls, as Ryan Suji was saying. You know, that's what Hawaii's always been known for, great defense. Well, now it's a new kind of defense. It's that defense, that first line of defense called the block yeah. with a lot of tall people. What is this, the Pac-12? What is this, the SEC? What's going yeah, exactly, on over here? That's exactly what it's like. Service error gives it to UCSB, so it is one serving two, and it'll be Chanel Hoffman. To slap it into play. Pass by Greeley. Good one. Higgins will go backside to Manole Vau. Yeah, you said UCSB should bust out the ladders against Hawaii's big size of the net. I think, unfortunately, Manole Vau is the one using the ladder to get up on those swings. Exactly. She's really sky. Her legs look really fresh. Her arm looks fresh. Six kills for her on 15 attempts. Also has seven digs and four blocks. Here's Villanueva, the touch up front by Hawaii. And it's Taylor on the opposite side, uses the net as her buddy, and finds the floor for a Hawaii point. 11 kills, no errors, 21 swings, hitting over 500. Continuing to put up monster numbers. <laughs> Even with a little smile to herself as she gears up for this next sequence. Middle set goes to Grunt, diving save back over the net by Higgins. That's what Hawaii has done very well here tonight. But that time, Grunt got a better piece of it, and thus a better result from the Gaucho's perspective. Like the repeat set by Hannah Nielsen there. She made all Big West Frost team back in 2011. Was the number three setter in the Big West when she was a freshman. Since then, there's been more of a 6-2 uh, system employed. Sends it deep and out. And this is danger zone time if you're UC Santa Barbara. I mean, obviously, you're already facing a Mount Everest size assignment in trying to get yourself back into this match. But you can start letting things get away from you in a big way if you give up some early points like this. And again, miscommunication, and it's a free chance for Hawaii. Can they take advantage? Greeley through the block and down, and how about the bump set by Taylor Higgins? That was a beauty that's so hard to do. You know, she almost hit the net, so you have to sort of short arm a little bit and, and uh, hit it right on your wrist to get it up there just right. And you got 11 there. Greeley finished. Okay, with the serve. Six serving two here. Grab the tip. Great diving save a couple of times by different Rainbow Wahine to keep it going. Barbo on the outside. Touched up at the net, saved by Higgins. So Kahakai sets up Taylor. Cross court and wide. Point, UC Santa Barbara. First hitting error of the evening for Nikki Taylor, but how about Kahakai and Maglio laying out? Boy, unafraid to play great defense. I'll tell you, unafraid to go to the floor, keep that ball alive, give themselves another chance to attack. And Hesselman will get ready to serve for UC Santa Barbara. Aspires to be a sports commentator one day. Serves it into the net. You see Hosman giving her signals that being left-handed, I'm surprised she hasn't attacked the ball more tonight. She's only made one attempt. A lot of left-handed centers will really use that as a tool to attack the ball more often. Right back at you goes Nikki Taylor on the service error. Although in her case, in her defense, she's always in the back row when she's setting. She doesn't go through the front where she could attack. 
and be in the 5-1 system. Instead, she's in the 6-2 system. We have two setters and six attackers. There's Greeley. What a save by Petrocki. Sets up Ruddins on the outside. Was there a touch? Yes, there was, and that's a point for UCSB. So there you see again the live arm of Lindsay Ruddins. UCSB within two. Barbeau again to serve. I can see why Lindsay Ruddins was so highly recruited. She's got a nice high snap, nice swing, good jump. Here's Ali Barbeau, who had a season high 22 kills and 15 digs. UCSB's home finale against Hawaii last year. She's had success against the Rainbow Wahine, there's no doubt. Maglio having some success here tonight, though. Five kills to go along with her five blocks, and she's hitting up near 500. By the way, Rudd's sister, Elise, plays volleyball at USC, and they're having a very good year. Crushed UCLA the other night in the Pac-12. Eight serving five. Here's Greeley. Right side. That is Joes. Hawaii trying to get it back over. Cannot. Good blast by Joes to sort of force the overpass, and then UCSB was able to polish it up. So the Gauchos hanging around here in the early stretch. And this is what they've done the, the both sets, in case you just joined us. First set, hung in there to around seven all seven. Second set, same thing. And all of a sudden, Hawaii got separation. Mano Leval, great set to the outside pin. And Ty's timing has been pretty impeccable tonight. Yeah, she's uh, got seven kills now. Swinging with freedoms, hitting 3-12. Seven digs, four blocks, one of the King Kong one-hander. On the punts. On the serve. Sends it long. And that gets Dave Shoji. A little upset as he goes back and sits down along the Hawaii bench. It's been otherwise a wonderful week for Coach Shoji, right? His two sons, Kavika and Eric, apart of that U.S. men's national team that claimed the FIVB World Cup in Tokyo and thus qualified for the Summer Olympics in Rio next summer. And in fact, not only are the Shoji's in the house, there's Eric sort of in the forefront of the screen, but you have Micah there's Christensen out of USC and Kamehameha Kapalama, who was the top setter of the tournament. He's in the house. Violation called against the Rainbow Wahine. Nikki Taylor got her forearm off the cable. Yeah, Christensen got best center. I think Eric showed you got best in the barrel. Yep. And Kavika has been brought in to serve and has put together some great runs for oh, yes. Team USA. He's been a very good serving specialist. Middle set. McGill blocked back. Higgins, though, able to nudge it up. Now Taylor will get a full swing on it. Gaucho's in transition. Barbo dug up by Kahakai. Wow. Taylor, can she finish it? Yes, she can. How about Kahakai keeping that rally alive for that dig? Lined up perfectly, popped it straight up, kept it on her own side of the net. Got her hips under the ball. And here comes Taylor Higgins out of nowhere to deliver a beautiful set. To Nikki Taylor. 12th kill for Taylor, 15th dig for Kahakai. Make it 16. Oh, it would have been. Net violation called against Hawaii, however. Kahakai again with a great dig. May we be possibly seeing sort of the calibration of this Hawaii team as we enter into conference play? It seems, dare we say, that they have sort of sharpened some of the edges, smoothed them out, certainly, as we uh, have approached the league play. I would totally agree. Start with the passing, it's been cleaner. Start with the transition passing, no more overpasses. Uh, how about the defensive play of people like Kakai? Uh, the connections at the net. 
as far as the setting goes, but with Taylor Higgins. Taylor, the block was not formed. Credit Barbeau for getting a chunk of it, but Taylor blasts it off the hands and out for her 13th kill. Nikki Taylor, who's gone 20 or more kills, four different occasions here already this still semi-young season. Barbeau will get the swing. Blanketed, smothered, eclipsed Maglio and Taylor. It's a big block, 6'4 and 6'3. Maglio hustles out to get out there. Both players pressing over the net, penetrating, performing, you know, basically four hands across. Yeah, that is a block that will block out the sun. Here's Barbeau, this time Soft touches it over the block and the save by Higgins. So Kahakai sets up Taylor. The block right back at you, says Phoebe Grunt. Great block by Grunt. Boy, she got up there and she penetrated. Pressed over and watched number 12 in the inside. She gets over and puts it straight down. Comes back faster than it was going over, I think. The first error of the night for Nikki Taylor. 13 kills, her first error in 25 swings. Hitting a mere 480. That'll lead the country. Maglio. I tell you what. She has been able to emerge here over the last week or so. Remember the career high 12 kills versus Bakersfield, third in the Big West Conference in blocks, and is proving to be an efficient source for this Hawaii team, a la Olivia McGill. That one sent long. Ruddins wanted the touch, and she got it. And Dave Shoji arguing the call, but Emily Maglio in what was a very interesting little uh, non-verbal communication looked at Dave and sort of nodded saying, I touched it. Yeah, yeah. And he, that, that sent Dave back to the bench. Nick Forster, Bill Forster, the top referee, was the one who actually caught that. There's Taylor on the D set. Well, that ball was set like the 12 foot line. Good back bump set by Taylor Higgins. <laughs> Taylor again drills it. Hawaii gets the 15 first. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. And Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, they're getting jiggy with it here at the Stan Sheriff Center, Hawaii. 10 points away from putting this to bed in order on opening night of the Big West Conference and Kalei Greeley coming out of the timeout with a demonstrative statement there. Yes, the ace from KG indeed. Hawaii by five. Ace number three on the night. Why has he had to rely on their serves that much? They've found ways to do it in other ways, especially blocking. Nine blocks to three for the Gauchos. Watch four, four nine. Floats it deep, pass by Barbeau. Middle set goes to Hoffman. And Chanel Hoffman, I tell you what, if she's not 100% yet, it'll be pretty scary when she does actually get to 100% help. I can see why she was there, the all-time kill leader in Riverside County when she was in high school. She brought the heavy hammer there, great swing. That was a CIF and California State Division II Player of the Year in high school. Really feeling that serve. Outside it goes to Mano Leval. Eight kills for her on 17 attempts. Taylor Higgins finding out where the small blocker was. That was going away, but she was on the outside, and she delivered it right where Mano Leval, her former teammate, could hammer it down the line and take advantage. Announced attendance tonight, 5,393 through the turnstiles here at the Stan Sheriff Center. He was drilling away, but blocked by McGill and then slapped over. So the Gauchos will try it again. Right side, this time it goes to Ruddins. Got the touch. Ruddins gets fully healthy and can play all the way around all six positions and attack out of the back row. They're going to be an entirely different team. We saw Dave Shoji just sat down, but we saw him up for the last couple of points, and he's still very much on his team. What is that an indication of? I think it's an indication that he's respecting Santa Barbara and their, their feistiness. He knows how any team can come back on Hawaii, and Hawaii's not been good in set three. That's something they've struggled with throughout the last, you know, 11 games. 
And so I think he's 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 this he's the, he's like their little angel on their shoulder saying, okay, we're not gonna let down in the third set. I'm gonna make sure that I'm serious for us. You guys better get serious as well. McGill with her fifth kill. Hawaii back up five. Higgins with the serious serve. And then Hoffman finishes from the opposite side. Hoffman trying she not only gets out of the middle, she can go to the right as well. That's what makes Santa Barbara dangerous. You never know where their attackers are going to be coming from because they tend to play all along the net. Served by Hoffman, one over about the pass. Higgins goes high and away to Taylor. Great dig in that back row. But it'll be a free ball sent Hawaii's way. Can they take advantage? Middle set, McGill. Good save, Hoffman. And again, a free ball will have to be sent to Hawaii. McGill, a second time. Smacks it down. A nice pass from Kahakai to get it all started. Right on the money. Timeout UCSB. Big Island Candies, the perfect place to find the perfect gift. Visit them at their flagship store in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or online at BigIslandCandies.com to see their amazing selection, including delicious chocolate dip shortbreads. See some of the Shoji Ohana. You have uh, Kavika in the green hat, Eric with the lay on. Members of the U.S. men's national team. Dave Shoji's sons. As they qualify for the Olympic Games in Rio next year. Olivia McGill, out of that timeout, putting up the wall, and Hawaii up a half dozen. Once again, Hawaii lengthening these rallies with great plays like that by Ty Manu Olival, and then the wall. Here's Hoffman from the back row, got it through the wall that time and put it down. Now, getting back to the Shoji's, how amazing is that? Michael Christensen also in the house, uh, not currently in that picture, but uh, the setter, of course, for Team USA. But how amazing is that that these two Shoji sons are both elite-level volleyball players on the worldwide basis as McGill is dug up? It's nothing less than amazing. Barbo. Save Higgins, rat -a it around, put over by McGill. Her hit was dug up, and then Grunt puts it down to keep UCSB sort of in the mix here. Nice, nice cut back by Grunt. Well, I, I, it helps if they were playing volleyball, like in the room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Does that, is it, so they came out playing, and then they haven't stopped playing since then. Well, I asked Dave, and he says, hey, look, they didn't get anything from me. If anything, they got something from their mom, right, Mary? And, Taylor is dug up. He says maybe it was just they were gym rats when they were kids, and the exposure to the game was was what it was. As Green that goes over the double block, save by Hoffman. Outside, here's Barbeau into the net, so that's a point for the Rainbow. I will tell you this: I've coached both of them for probably at least in six years of club ball and two years of Stanford, so I kind of know them pretty well. They are students of the game. Yeah. They are film watchers. Uh, they are book readers, they are TV watchers, watching the greatest players in the world. They model themselves after the great players in the world. And, uh, and it, all of a sudden, after doing all that work, and then plus they, they've lifted, they take good care, they take good care of themselves. And, uh, and, and let's not sell Dave short. I mean, he was a pretty darn good athlete in his day. In fact, at Upland High School, he was the athlete of the year, chosen over his classmate, Raleigh Fingers. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, Ryan Kalei Suji is with the uh, soon-to-be Olympians. Ryan. That's right. The All-Stars are the VIPs of the in the house here at the Stan Chair Center, joined by Eric and Kavika Shoji. Welcome home, boys. Uh, talk to us about that experience in Japan and what that really meant for not only you guys individually, but Team USA. Yeah, it's a huge achievement. Uh, we had 11 matches in 16 days. We won 10 of them and won the tournament. It's the first time in 30 years that we've done that and the first time we've qualified for the Olympics in this tournament. Kavika. You know, a lot of excitement, of course, but what, what is it like playing with your brother? I'm sure you get that question all the time, but what is it like having not only uh, Eric as well, but, but Mike on the team as well, the Hawaii connection? I, it's really fun, you know. I think there's just a special bond that we have, um, all three of us. 
Uh, we play well together, kind of just like a silent communication kind of thing, you know. And so to be able to represent Hawaii and the United States together at that international stage is really fun and special, especially for the local guys. You guys have played all over the world, seen crowds like this. Does this compare to anywhere else in the world? What makes Hawaii volleyball so unique? You know the fans, for sure. They have passion, they have knowledge, they clap for every play. You know, we played in front of a lot of people, but it's always special to be home. Final question, what's next for you guys? I know you guys are going back overseas. Yeah, so we have about a week at home to just kind of relax, and then we head over to our professional teams in Europe for the next eight months, and then we'll come back for next summer in the Olympics. All right, well, best of luck to you guys. Thanks for talking to us. We'll send it back over to you guys. There is a proud papa right there, Dave Shoji. But here's the dilemma, because the summer games next year for the volleyball event, it's in late August. That's going to butt up right with the 2016 season. So, uh, yeah. I think Dave has some sick leave <laughs> stored up after 41 years. What do you think? I would say that if he wants some time off, they're going to give it to him. Good dink shot there. Galjo's within five, put down by Joe's. For the latest information on UH Athletics, go to hawaiiathletics.com for UH news, tickets, videos, and more. Also visit UH's Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube sites to follow your favorite teams and get current fan promotions. Hawaii hitting 350 for the match compared to 115 for UC Santa Barbara. Taylor leading the way with 14 kills, hitting 464. So what, you're looking to close the deal. Maglio, oh, Canada, strikes again. And the crowd here at the Stan Sheriff Center sensing it. Maglio is sure validating last Sunday's performance, isn't she? That was no fluke last Sunday. Well, no, she's putting in a Hana Ho effort. Ruddins dug up by Taylor, but only for a moment. Tomorrow it will be Cal Poly coming into this building. Cal Poly, a team that was not preseason picked to finish very high. In fact, seventh, but they are off to an 8-3 and three start through non-conference play. And a team that uh, has the looks of one to be reckoned with. Emily Maglio is now a weapon to be reckoned with for this Rainbow Wahine squad. Maglio, the real Canadian deal. Just getting better night in and night out. She now has eight kills to go along with six blocks. She's hitting 615. And it is a low ball as just under 5,400 arrives at the Stan Sheriff Center and Calais Greeley will serve for the match. in the air by Greeley. Maglio gets the second touch and a free ball sent to Gaucho's well. Outside, here's Ruddins, dug up by Kahakai. Bump set Kelch to Manole Bao. Pinballed around on the Gaucho side and sent back over. Greeley, first touch. Kelch is a little too tight to the net. Kelch will be called for the miss hit. Missed opportunity to close the book. But it remains Aloha Ball here for Hawaii, up by five. We're going to have a substitution as out of Alexis Rotman, a Santa Barbara native and a freshman. Entering in, she will serve. The Hawkeye with the pass. Kelsch goes outside. Manuele Bao blocked. Goes Point Hawaii, and that is your ball game. The Rainbow Wahine win the Big West Conference opener in sweeping fashion. Ekahi Elua Aloha on this Aloha Friday night. And this Gaucho team, a better team than Bakersfield, the Hawaii refused to go for sets like they did against Bakersfield. So they've obviously learned their lessons about playing down. Uh, their intensity was strong all night long. Great focus and intention. It was, uh, it was fun to watch and see them uh, get grittier in game three as opposed to getting softer in game three, which is what they've been doing all year. 
Hawaii improving to 11 and 1 overall, off to a 1 and 0 start in the conference. UC Santa Barbara drops its seventh straight and falls to four and eight. Scott Robbs is with head coach Dave Shoji. Scott. Hey, thanks a lot, Fano. Well, coach, uh, opening conference match of the season. You have to be very pleased with the way your team played. That's about as good as we can play, I think. Because that's not a bad team over there, and you know the scores are pretty lopsided, but. You know, that's what we practice for. We, we can play like that, and we did. You know, the thing that impressed me was your defense, particularly your floor defense. You saw bodies jiving for balls, something we really haven't seen uh, in the preseason. Well, you know, Savannah's really got it into a rhythm uh, defensively. She anchors the defense. Ty and Greeley are playing some really good middle back defense. Nikki Taylor's a really good defensive player for 6-4, and it's all coming together but we got another tough match tomorrow night. Yeah, I was just going to say, you can't savor this one very long tomorrow. Cal Poly, probably a better opponent than you saw tonight. Well, they're better, and uh, they've been sitting in the hotel watching the game, and so they'll be fresh. Uh, we need a... Uh, hi there, Cal Poly. Uh, <laughs> Waikiki's fun at night, so... No, I'm just kidding. Um, they'll be tough. They're well-coached and a uh, very disciplined team. All right, Dave, enjoy this one for an hour, and then uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. That's right. Thank you, Scott. Ready. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Scott. Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the match. Chanel Hoffman getting the nod for UC Santa Barbara. Seven kills, hitting 333 to go along with 11 digs. And Emily Maglio follows up her career-high 12-kill performance against Bakersfield last Sunday with an eight-kill. Career-high six-block effort tonight. Hit 615. Emily Maglio, the perfect compliment it is starting to become to what Olivia McGill has already established as the other middle in that rotation. Well, for about three weeks now, Dave showed you the saying, we're doing great with McGill in the middle, but our second middle between Mitchum and Mango just hasn't been producing. Well, Mango has had a lot to say about that the last two weekends. MVP in our last Sunday match against Bakersfield, and tonight, another MVP award, player of the game. Pretty amazing performance. You know, and we suggested it a couple times throughout the match. It, it looked as though Hawaii sort of took on a different persona tonight. Maybe because of the fact that this is now conference play. Maybe because of the fact that uh, the stakes are raised just a little bit through this next stretch of the schedule. A team that may have calibrated itself to a pretty accurate degree for Big West play. Talk about calibration. They hit, sighted out at 83% tonight. You know, 65, 68, 70 is good, 83%. And in the last set, I believe they, they cited out at like 93%. So calibration, great word to use for tonight because they were on flying on all cylinders tonight. Tomorrow, Cal Poly, a team that is, as we mentioned, looking every bit like a team to be reckoned with, 8-3 and three in non-conference play. What do you expect now for Hawaii to follow up tonight's very impressive and dominant performance? More of the same. Go home and watch the video. Yeah. I think it'll be rerun sometime tonight. Go home and watch it <laughs> and uh, just do more of the same tomorrow night. Really no changes to be made. Just take care of their own side of the net and listen to Jeff Hall's scouting report on Cal Poly. I'm sure all will be well. Well, Hawaii takes care of business on the opening night of Big West Conference play. And yes, it will be the Mustangs of Cal Poly in this building tomorrow night. There is your record. Thank you very much. 11-1 for the 11th ranked Rainbow Wahine volleyball team. Yes, Lori Santi, you did get some camera time. That's it for us. Stay tuned for the postgame show.